Oh, quick thing to say before my first intro that I thought thought of somewhere in the video. Uh, if you want to answer these questions along with me down below, or want to say something about yourselves and share with the show and tell of the class, just leave some comments down below, and what do you think I'm going to play next? Actually, no, don't answer that, because I think you guys will know. I don't know. Comment whatever you want down below. Comment on why my answers to the questions, and just comment, like, favorite, subscribe, and join my videos, and get me to a million subs right now. I will kill you every single one of them. Okay, that was really weird. Enjoy the video. <laughs> hey guys, Simpson Tate here, and on this part of Let's Play Super Mario 2 The Lost Levels, I'm not going to talk about the video at all, even though it is the finale. I'm doing this because I kind of got, well, I'm not going to say I kind of got bored of the game, which I did. It's just that the quality of commentary during the game just got so bad, I think you guys want to enjoy it, so I didn't want that. And I thought, why not do it ask me anything? I did get 100 subs. This is my 100 sub special, because I really can't think of anything to do for 100 sub special. But, I guess I'll just do this instead. So, we will start off with the first question. And I uh, put you in order of when you comment, and I actually made a Word document for this uh, episode. I feel all, like super prepared and stuff that I don't know why but the first questions come from the Nintendo fan forever his first question is who is your inspiration and I assume to mean starts let's playing and such and things well I'll get into my whole like history on YouTube later I'll go into that deeper because that's a question asked way 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 later but my major inspirations well I have two and eh, one is widely known one is probably not well known but I mention a lot on this channel first one uh, Chugga Conroy, I mentioned this so many times. Actually, I, I used to do, uh, music cover videos, and I sometimes, on YouTube, I forget when exactly, I knew, I, I was looking through the most viewed videos for some reason, and then I came up to, uh, it was one of his Wind Waker videos, and I watched it, and then I went back and watched another one, another one, and I remember right that moment, I just start watching his videos, got liked his videos, and I was like, I want to do this, this seems cool, I like video games a lot, and I know stuff, and it seems like fun, so I started my Let's Play Super Mario 3, and the rest is history. What did you do before LPing? Wow, I could have just answered that question two seconds ago, <laughs> I should have read down to the next question. Uh, before Let's Playing, I did uh, drum covers on another channel that I probably should delete, and it if any did yeah i'm just gonna avoid ever mentioning that again so don't find that please don't go okay i'm just i'm really putting my foot in my mouth with that i'm just going to avoid that and i just noticed i didn't start the the playing of the video so i can't even tell where i am in the episode of mario which is just great oh well i wasn't going to talk about the gameplay that much except one point late i'll try to remember to mention it like late in the video i'll just be like wow well, whatever okay and yeah so i basically did drum covers before that and then i got into the whole youtube thing actually in the late uh videos of my drum cover channel i started to like try to get more of like talk to my fans and stuff and like I wanted to be more of like a community person because I got with the, I was watching a lot of the Call of Duty people, those also were part of my inspiration, and I was getting into like the game side of YouTube, and I liked how they had like, uh, open, uh, soapbox to express their, uh, express their opinions, Expre express their opinions so they could just go off and say whatever they want, and I thought that was cool, and I thought, video games, opinions, me? I mean, how could you go wrong? Wow, that sounded really self-centered. I mean, uh, really, whatever. I don't know. Next question. Will you ever show your face on camera? Will I? Maybe I'm showing it right now, and I'm just not putting... Uh, okay, seriously, um, hmm, maybe a thousand subs? I don't know. That seems really great. Like, okay, I'm, like, at a table. I have my, like, fingers folded. I'm sitting back. I'm, hmm, I'm, like, stroking a cat. I'm, like, hmm. You give me a thousand subs, I'll show you who I am. <laughs> and then like an evil creepy laugh and I like, <coughs> start coughing in the end because I have a smoking problem. I don't know. But, um, I love how every answer to any question I ever do, I have to do this whole joking thing before it and then I go into the actual answer. Maybe I'll, I'll try to be straightforward if, uh, with more of the questions. Uh... Yeah, probably like a thousand subs, that's what I've been like planning in the back of my head to do. So you don't have to see my ugly face. And, I don't know, leave a comment down below, I want you guys to guess what I look like. That's 
I don't know. You guys have fun with that. I bet you everyone would be completely wrong except the people who actually know me in real life. And if they don't get me right, they're never, I'm never talking to them again. Like, suck. Or you could just not comment. Okay, and the last question is, how's life? Hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. I have spring break right now. I've practiced for my uh, sport of choice crew, which is eight hours of practice, and I shouldn't be complaining on these videos. But uh, yeah, he asked how's life, and I'm giving him the just. The, the, I don't know. On to the next set of questions. Thank you, Mr. Nintendo fan, forever, forever, ever, ever, Mr. Wesley's in the building. Okay, this jockey red, which is Jared, he was in some of my Mario Party videos, and oh dude, it's almost done downloading, I'm downloading something for a game, you might know what I'm downloading something for a game, uh, if you read some dude's comments, I forget, I think it was General Mew who wrote it, but I'm really really spoilerifying, like taking any uh, anxiety out of what's coming up next on my channel. I'm really not good at keeping secret because I'm so excited to play it because it seems like fun. And it's not what you think it is. Hmm. Get you confused even more. Dish Jockey Red, who was in my Mario Party videos and stopped digging, and is my friend Jared. First question is, do you enjoy pizza? Hmm. Pizza's okay. I, I do enjoy a freaking pizza from time to time, but it's pretty good, pretty good. Just plain pizza. Do you eat pizza on a regular basis is his second question. Yeah, pretty much like every Friday. I enjoy pizza. Uh, just plain pizza, no pepperoni. I don't know why I'm just going into this insightful thing about pizza, even though pizza's become, freaking pizzas has become like my catchphrase per se, even though I kind of stole that from Chug. It's from a random video that was like, from sunshine where he like fell off something and yelled freaking pizzas i don't know how that became in my repertoire i really want to go back and find what video i said that first but i don't have the patience nor the time to go do that but if you want to do that for me i know no one wants to do that for me because i have a huge library of videos uh you can if you do that i will love you forever and uh okay i'm not gonna say it again okay third question do you have battlefield 3 uh Yes, I do, and I enjoy it. It's a fun game. I play from time to time. It's always fun to shoot some dudes up and have a fun time. I like, uh, my funnest thing in doing that is just putting C4 and tanks and blowing stuff and words and things. Are you going to do more Minecraft Let's Plays? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't played the game in a while, quite frankly, and I haven't enjoyed the game before that. And when I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to Let's Play, because if, you, if you're not enjoying the game, or you want to Let's Play games you enjoy and something you're having fun to play, that's why I'm doing this for Lost Levels, uh, segue right there. But, uh, maybe if I find something or I see an update that, about Minecraft that makes me want to play it, I'll try to get a little bit more, because I know a lot of you guys on this channel like to do Minecraft. I'll try to push myself and check out Minecraft, see if I want to go back to it. But it's always there. It's always going to be like a, a possible Let's Play anytime on my channel. Just something there that's always there. And the next question was kind of if I would have given a good enough answer on it. It would have been kind of personal. But I've been pretty good, Jared. Uh, school and stuff is nice and words and things and who's and pizza. And I really can't give you more information on that because people are creepy. And they would know things like Grant says in his comment where he knows where I live. No, he doesn't, but I've mentioned that before. But continuing on, and thank you, Jared, for your wonderful questions. I don't know how far I'm into this. I am eight minutes in, and I have like 22 minutes of video. Uh, okay, I have enough time. I'm looking at my questions in my epic Word document of interestingness. General Mew30, who I mentioned earlier in this video, has the next question. Have you ever slathered yourself in applesauce? No. I don't enjoy applesauce. I've flattered myself and well, that's a different story for a different time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your favorite TV show? I actually have a bit of story-ish to tell about this. Uh, I really didn't watch that much of TV ever since I got into YouTube, like, really, really seriously. Uh, I would say that would be about, like, six or seven months ago, and then I just really didn't watch TV anymore before that. Well, I watch it, I watch it, like, time from time to watch stuff. But then, like, I'd say a month or two ago, I got into the show called How I Met Your Mother. Awesome show. What partially got me into that is this is, like, a jump to jump to jump. Uh, Wheezy Waiter did a video of, uh, singing a song from Dr. Horrible's, uh, 
Dr. Horrible Sing Along Adventure Blog, which, oh, call me a wuss because it's like a musical type thing that's on the internet. Look it up, it's right on YouTube. It's so awesome. I never knew Neil Patrick Harris could actually sing, but that got me into How I Met Your Mother. I knew about the show before, and my dad would started watching it, so I was like, hey, let's check this out. And I ended up watching every episode from the first season all the way up to the current season, and I caught up to the videos. I did that in like two months. I'm kind of ashamed, but kind of like... I had a lot of spare time, and I just didn't feel like playing games sometimes because I was tired from school and stuff, so I was just like, put this on, watch it. It's a really nice show. I like it. If you enjoy watching shows, watch that. I don't know. But no, watch my videos first. Don't watch that. That show's dumb. And also, Dr. Horrible's Super Sing Along Adventure Blog. If you like things, you'll like that thing. On to the next question. Have you ever been ambushed by hairy 12th graders? Uh, I... I don't understand the... Why, what's the word I can't think of? Like, it's like direct, right there, sincer... It's not sincerity, it's... I don't know, but it's so... Oh, I can't think of that word! Well, no! I don't know how or why you'd ask that question, but no! The upperclassmen at my uh, school are actually very nice, and they don't mess with the bros and the joes. Do you speak any different languages? Uh... No. Oh, I just st spoke Spanish there for you. Haha. <laughs> no, I don't speak any language. I want to learn, and I am going to have to learn next year, because I have to take Spanish Fiesta. Well, I... Okay, here's my tips to pass Spanish in 20 seconds or less. Fiesta, taco, grande, fuego, uh... Me no speaky English... I, I don't know. If I went into a Spanish test like that, I would fail. And thank you for your questions, General Mew. Now on to the person I always mention a hundred times and a million times because he is my bro, Chacho, even though I really have no idea who he is. 1, 2, 12, 36, Grant. Uh, okay, his first question is... Oh, yeah, and thank you, General Mew, for your questions. I'm not sure if I said that or not. But, and let me check my time real quick. I am at 12 minutes. Okay, I can do this. Grant asked, don't you think you should have a thing that makes you, you stand out from other LPs, like rating Pokemon named? Pokemon nicknames? I don't understand what you mean by rating Pokemon nicknames, but I do have this one thing right now because I'm playing it blind. I don't think a lot of other people have played Pokemon White or Black Blind because a lot of people have played that game. That makes kind of sense, but... I guess I have that, and it is really hard to set yourself out in this Let's Playing community to get yourself away from someone. I really can't, like, your question really made me think, like, is there something that I can get over, give me a leg or something over other LPs, like, more informative information or better nicknames or something like that? I'm trying to give better nicknames for my Pokemon that are staying on my, excuse me, team, but... I can't really think of anything that set me apart. Your question made me, like, really ponder about this. I was just like, hmm. And, like, stroking my beard that is non-existent. I was like, hmm. Could this be possible, possibly? I don't know. I mean, I think I just have a less playing uh, quality that's different from other people. Some people compare me to Chug Conroy, which I think that's a compliment. But still, you don't want to be the better no, I'm not- Oh, I'm better than Choco Homer so much. You don't want to be the, uh, a clone of someone else, but you want to be your own Let's Player. But I think I'm- I like my Let's Play- Well, it's not my opinion to express if I like my Let's Playing style. I think it. I stand out from other people because I don't claim to know everything, and I always speak my mind, like- even if it makes me look like a complete idiot, I still speak and say whatever I thought. But what do you guys think? Is there something you, that really ticks you off about my Let's Playing style? Like, I remember watching, I forget what it was, but this guy would do something wrong, or I forget what it was, and he would just piss me off so much, I was like, DON'T DO THIS! DO THIS! And maybe things like that kind of set me apart, because, I don't know, maybe other people do that, and maybe I'm just a copycat of someone I've never even heard of. Second question, ever read Homestruck? No, I have no idea what that even is. It probably is a good book, but books, books take time, and they are something or other. I'll answer that later, because there's another question about books later. Is Mario technically a drug addict? I would guess he is really in love with the shrooms, and... 
I guess so, but he's also freaking crazy because he's somehow an Italian plumber in this land with a giant turtle and Goompa things and... I don't know, it's just, when you think about some games logically, you're just like, what? So there's this Italian plumber running around, hitting his head on bricks and uh, giant flashing uh, neon signs to get mushrooms and kicking turtles and smashing whatever the hell Goobas are to go get, steal this woman that he's never met before from a giant mutated turtle with spikes on his back. Oh yeah, and bullet bills, uh, magical bullets that have smiley faces on them. Yeah, when you think of some games logically, they make no sense, eh? Like a giant uh, blue hedgehog running around being all crazy. Even though I never played many Sonic games. I just never appealed to me. I'm, I don't know. I'm Maybe I'm just bad at Sonic. I've only played a little bit. Do you play Skyrim? No, I haven't played Skyrim. I've heard so much about it, how great it is. I really have to get to it. I'm very bad at getting... Uh, to games that have, uh, have, like, so much critical, okay, critical acclaim, like, uh, Half-Life. I just beat Half-Life 2, uh, like, three or four months ago, and, uh, what else was I going, oh, yeah, I just beat Half-Life 2 three or four months ago, and I barely started Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and I really have to get to that. What's another game I put off beating? Hmm. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Ooh! Gal no, Galaxy, I just waited to 100%. Nope, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm very bad at getting to good games because I'm just lazy like that. Next question. How much wood could a woodchuck tuck? Woodchuck could chuck wood. Damn woodchucks! Stop chucking my wood is my response to that. Potato, um, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Bum, bum, bum. Yay, we had to sing that song for school some year, and I don't even know where it's from, what it's called, or not even caring. Favorite book series. It's not a series, and I bet you a lot of people, if you respond to this comment down below, you're going to be like, Hunger Games, Hunger Games. I've heard it's really good. Another thing I wait to get to, because my sister's like, hey, you want to read this? I'm like, eh. Eh, I just, I don't know, it just, it, I'm bad getting into things, but once I'm into them, I'm, like, hooked. Like, Bioshock, I was really late on the Bioshock bandwagon, there's my example I was looking for. But then I beat Bioshock in, like, two weeks, and then I beat Bioshock 2 right after it. Such a great game series, I should let's play them sometime in the future. But my favorite book series, I don't know, oh yeah, stupid things, getting off topic, is not really a series, but... Any book by John Green. He has four books, Looking for Alaska, and uh, The Fall of Our Stars, eh, they're so closely awesome. They're both awesome in their two different ways. They're probably my favorite. If you want to read good books and you are a young adult, John Green, great author, and I've mentioned this before, and I remember I mentioned in the Lost Levels video where I got totally off track and never got to talk about how great his videos are. I mean, how great his books are, but John Green, uh, Vlogbrothers, he's... Uh, John Green of the Log Brothers, his brother's Hank, and he makes the music and the stuff and the words and the things. He makes great, great books, The Fallen Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, uh, Abundance Catherine's, and uh, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and there's something else. Oh, the one with Margo. Uh, why can't I think of it? Paper Towns, which is my least favorite, probably because I can't remember it. But, John Green, good books. Next question. Have a problem? Do you have a problem with the way p normal people spell favorite? And he spelled it O U R. I really don't care. I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, you're spelling it wrong. You're all wrong, stupid uh, non Americans. In America, we spell right. America is always right. America, America. I really don't care that much, and I think it looks kind of cool. I think color looks cooler with the U, but. Favorite, I, I I think our favorite cool, because America, heck yeah. I don't know, I really don't care, it doesn't bother me that much. If you can't have any superpower, what would it be? How did I not leave this question before? I probably should have thought of that before. Hmm, any superpower, what could it be? Invisibility is stupid, I mean, you could, like, steal things and stuff. Flying, eh, people can, al you can already be in planes and fly. Hmm, something... I guess, like, Wolverine regeneration, like, anytime you got hurt, it would be fine. Or, 
I don't know. I'm not very. I don't know. I'm not very well versed on superhero. I'm not really. I never really liked superheroes as a kid. Well, not like I didn't like them. I was just never into them. Like people have like Superman or something that they really like. Eh. I guess maybe either like regeneration be able to like fix anything or um hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. And I just thought of something great to put at the beginning of the video. That you guys are going to hear at the beginning of the video now. But it, I thought of it right now. Good job. Am I asking you too many questions? No amount of questions is ever too many questions. Even though you ask like five more than everyone else, Grant. But I don't care. You're my bro, Chacho. You're a fan. I love all my fans. Except the people who aren't my fans. Which... Did I just create a paradox with my, my own head? I don't know. Our box of paradox. Okay, what grade are you in? Confidential information. I will try to keep from people from stalking me down. Do you have a pet? Yes, and I've mentioned her a couple times in my video as Mike, who is the next guy coming. No, uh, he does. He he like he's one of my friends, and he's he does like hey guys, it's on Taylor here, like to annoy me all the time. And he he has it like spot on. It's really creepy how perfect he gets it, just like exactly like me. It kind of scares me, but I do of a pet her name is roxy she's a dog she's a mutt there's actually a cool story behind her my dad's a carpenter wow why am i giving up so very personal information i'm gonna get myself stuck and he was working on this one building in the downtown area of my city wow i'm good job not getting myself stuck and killed and they were working on this like old building they're looking through it and they found this uh this one uh, mother, and she's nursing, like, I forget how many dogs, like 10 dogs, and all the carpenters took one of the dogs, and they nursed her back. So we got Roxy, and she was the smallest one. She's so cute. She's a puppy, but now she's a big dog now. Well, that was nice. What is your plan of attacks slash survival for when the evil leprechauns team up with the unicorns? Why are my fans so weird? I guess they just feed off of me because I'm so weird. Uh... I'm part I'm just- I'm going to avoid that question because I have no idea what the heck you're talking about. I am part Dutch and part Irish. How about you? I am- I think I'm like a tiny bit American Indian and, uh, mostly German and part Irish too. I really don't know that much. I really don't inquire about that at all, really, so. Yeah, and thanks for your question, Grant. You definitely have quantity and you also have kind of quality, except all your questions suck! Okay, let's see. And our last person, who is, I mentioned him so many times because he always asks me to give out our uh, shoutouts, is my friend Mike. And he has three questions, but one I already answered. And why can't I get back to my question? Will you ever show your face? Already answered that, bro. What's your YouTube history? Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't know how I originally got into, like, making my YouTube account. I really don't remember how, but basically drum covers. Oh, I didn't even mention a while back who was my other inspiration. Jesper, this is Let's Play, who is now on a new channel, which I think is Jesper Wins. Uh, with a Z, J, E, S, P, E, R, W, I, N, Z. He was my other inspiration. I saw him doing a Let's Play of Super Mario 3, and I was planning. That's why I got into Let's Play. I was planning to do, like, this thing where I catch every Pokemon in a bunch of different games, and I was going to have a bunch of guests. And I asked Jesper to be, like, one of those guests, because I was watching a Super Mario 3 Let's Play. Another reason why I Let's Play Super Mario 3, besides it's an awesome game. And it just, like, he responded back, and I was like, Oh my god, that's so cool. I want to be a YouTuber. And I thought it was really cool. He said he would do that. And that vision was never accomplished. Because I didn't realize how much effort that would take. That takes so much freaking work. Maybe I'll do that sometime in the future. But basically that. Jasper, Chugga Conroy. Then Saves on Title Channel. I did a failed. I actually uploaded like a preview video for a... Uh, Let's play Zelda 1, which I still have never beaten. Another putting off a game. Putting off a game like uh, 15 years, never beating it. Uh, Zelda 1 failed. Let's play upload an episode. And I tried to do commentary on like a first thing, but I kept on dying and being terrible. And then Super Mario 3, and then pretty much to now. Nothing really significant happened besides 50 subs and 100 subs. I will never agree, well, most likely never agree to play a game for sub, uh, for reaching a sub limit or something because that was just tedious and that's how Lost Levels ended up like this. And how close I am for time? How long is this video that I can do? Oh, it's 29 minutes. Okay. I should be good. And, uh, yeah, I guess that pretty much clears up my YouTube's history. And why did I start making videos? There's your example right here. I just 
I want to express opinions. I already answered this. Uh, like one of my first questions. I just want to express opinions. I love video games. Want to talk about them. Want to talk about my opinions on video games. And I just want it like a an open canvas to talk about what I want. So I think I am still have a bit of time left in this. Probably. Oh, where's my thingy? I have my, like three topics saved up that I never got to use because of black and white. But thing I wanted to remind myself to mention, not the thing I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is that oh no email. What is this? Oh, stupid things. Uh, what I wanted to mention is that uh, uh, later in the recording, if you're probably not watching the recording, I want to blame you. I do that sometimes for videos where I just put on the audio commentary if the video, like, visual isn't really that important. But uh, it's so jerkish, this game. Even though the, first, the last world is a puzzle, Bowser Castle, which I hate this thing so much. I actually did pretty good playing through this, but the first thing, it's a buzz, uh, the puzzle Bowser Castle, and it really messed with me, and the other thing about the last level, it, there's two Bowsers, it's just like, really, you have to make a jerkish game, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I won, even though it doesn't, the first Bowser, I think the theme is also a tiny bit weird, it like, doesn't sound right, there's the first Bowser, and you're like, oh yeah, I beat the game, no, there's another Bowser, and he's like, ridiculously hard. If I didn't have safe states, I probably would have raged so much that I never would have beat this game. And, oh, I probably should have tried the multitasking and get to my ideas. Oh, yeah, I just have to click on this thing. Let's see. Uh, I'll just add this commentary right back on here, even though I w was planning to make this, like, a whole video commentary, and I thought it was cool. Uh, and I have no idea. Maybe my, uh, uh video might have already ended for this, but, uh, games I'm excited for. Actually, no. I think I'm probably done by now, and I will use the games I'm excited for 2012. We'll answer that question for you. What games are you excited for 2012? And if I didn't, if I forgot to edit this in the beginning, uh, answer these comments, uh, answer these questions along with me down in the comments below. And I've been Saves Untitled, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in my next project, and at the end, and more videos of black and white. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.